Hi everybody, this is Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com and I've got this week's iPad app of the week. Today is the day the iPad 2 launches and two of the applications that come with it or that are launched on the same day are iMovie which only runs on the iPad 2 and GarageBand. Now I know there's a hack you can get the iMovie on the iPad 1 but uh, GarageBand runs normally on the first iPad. And I'll be going and getting my iPad later on today, so next week I'll probably be showing you iMovie or at some point in the future. But today I want to show you GarageBand. Now understand, I've just had this on my iPad for just a little while, uh, not even a whole day, not even a whole hour yet. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and show it to you, so this won't be a real comprehensive review, but really just kind of a demonstration. And uh, it takes a little while to get it started up, and... Um, I was playing with it a little bit earlier, and it will start off by showing you your own song there. And uh, that's, of course, saving it. It's got other ones here that you can look at. Here's one demo. And let's see when we go ahead and get it started up. So notice you can do multi-track recording with it, and that's pretty cool. But what I really like is you go in here to the Instruments. Oh, well, let's go back. Um, to be honest with you, I still don't fully understand how everything works. Uh, but uh, we'll go back in here. Here is the one I was working on earlier. And go in here to Instruments. And notice it's got all these instruments that you can use. It's got a, a sampler. Uh, you've got your smart drums, your smart bass, your smart keyboard smart guitar, a regular keyboard, drums, a uh, guitar amp, an audio recorder, and so that's the basic one. So I want to go in here to the smart guitar. Now I would love to be able to play guitar, but I can't. I've never learned how to do it, uh, but I wish I could. Well, now I can. Watch. There's the G. All right, now that's not too good. But what I always loved was when I'd watch people play and uh, I would see them do different things with it. Um, and they, they'd have these cool little fingering uh, that they would do. Now I know this doesn't really sound all that great to be honest with you. But I just think it's cool. Now you can turn off the chords and just go to, maybe you are a guitar player and you want to play it more like a regular guitar. You know, that's cool. Um, there's just a lot of different things you can do in here. I'm going to go back to the chords though because I think that's cool. Now we've got an acoustic guitar, so let's pick a hard rock guitar. See, and you know, if you get real creative with yourself, you, you could actually make this sound pretty good. Now, of course, with an output, it would be good. You could also go in here and, you know, change some of the volume in, in, information. But let's go to one of the other instruments. It does a regular keyboard and drums, but I want to go into the smart keyboard. I actually haven't played with this one yet. But see, it's got chords. So instead of playing keys, you're playing chords. So now we got an autoplay. That doesn't sound all that great, but it's cool. Now let's change it up. We'll go to uh, ah, the clavicle. <laughs> That's just cool. I don't care who you are. <laughs> I really like that. So, this is uh, GarageBand for the iPad. I haven't showed you half of what this thing can do, not even a quarter of it. But I wanted to demonstrate to you that you can use this just to play around with it, have a good time. Um, you know, you don't have to really be a musical genius uh, to, to be able to do it. Let's go in here to the smart bass. 
and you know just show you a little bit of what you can do so you know it's it's just just pretty cool but this has been Kevin Purcell for notebooks.com with this week's iPad app of the week it's the brand new garage man and thanks for watching